viewers, and welcome to another beer review with me here, the Master of Hobbits. Today, looking at another beer that was sent to me from beerjunk.com. Great web shop, guys. Definitely check them out. They have a huge selection of beer, not just Lambics and, uh, you know, Belgian beer, but also like U.S. beer, Swedish beer, Italian beer, beers, Danish beer, beer from all over. They really keep up with what's being released at the moment in, like, Europe, which is, is really nice, and new stuff that's coming uh, to Europe from the USA. So, this one, guys, is going to be one of the many Lambics I ordered from their web shop, because, like, the Lambics I can get locally now, like, on a steady pace, I've reviewed all of them. <laughs> it's like the classic uh, black label Gruze from Shadeen. Well, there's a few Shadeen Lambics I haven't reviewed that I can get. I just, I don't know why I haven't. I should. But, then there's, you know, the traditional Lambics from uh, Dley Fontaine, the, the Goose of the Creek, their intense red, and then, shouldn't complain about that, because it's still really nice to be able to get that easily. Cancion's Creek, Goose of Rose Rose de Gambrinus, and then, yeah, most of the stuff I've already reviewed. It's rare you see the kind of one-off seasonals from them. And then, I think I can get some Bizarre, and many stuff I have reviewed, as I said. So it's nice to find some new uh, Lambic makers online, like these guys that I haven't had much from before. I've only had one beer, a beer a Lambic from these guys, and this is from another beer from Hansen's Artisanal. The first beer I had from them was the Udbiche, which was a strawberry Lambic, which was really nice. Um, and this one is their Ole Gruze. Uh, a traditional Gruze, you know, a blend of a 1, 2, and 3 year Lambic, around 6%. So Hansen's is one of those Lambic makers that gets very good recognition, but I just can't get them locally. And like I haven't really seen them available in Denmark, so it's nice to get this to, th their stuff to review. And I have a lot of other Lambics to review as well that I can't get in Denmark or locally, which is awesome. I actually have two more Lambics from Hansen's to review. I have their Krieg and their Experimental uh, Cassis, a blackcurrant Lambic. I wanted to get the Raspberry as well, Experimental Raspberry, but that one was sold out super quickly. So I think this is a 2014 vintage, because usually they put the date on these Lambic is like 20 years in the future and says best before 2034. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is a, a 2014 vintage. Also, show you that while well, I'm using my Cantillon Lambic glass. I don't get to use this very often either because I usually only use this for Lambics. Uh, so hey, let's break it out for a review. I actually have three Cantillon glasses. One more of these and like a taster. But yeah, looks awesome. Oh, I can smell the funkiness already. Looks really nice, hazy orange color to it. Looks like, you know, your traditional Guzo Lambic. A little bit of a white head to it. Check out the aroma on the Hansen's Ode Guzo. Oh, very funky and oaky. Not super tart, there's like a lemony lactic tartness, but mostly I'm getting like a funky Brindamyces oak. There's a lot of great qualities to it. Mmm, it smells really nice. With lemon, lemon uh, and maybe lemon scent, and it has that corky, I often get oaky corky uh, aromas from, uh, from Lambix. Pretty complex. It smells really nice, it smells really refreshing. It's been a while since I had a good so yeah, let's give this one a taste and cheers. Thanks a bunch to Beer Jump for the beer. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> for a glimpse of a second, almost got a honey sweetness to it. Oh, that's really good. That's a really nice gruzin. Mmm. Really nice. Not overtly sour. It does have a nice sourness, but not the most sour gruz I've had. Um, but nice tartness. It's got a lemony, white grapey tartness. Maybe almost sour apple as well. Oaky, funky, quirky flavor. I really get that often in these uh, gruzes. Also that musty old cellar, but the dominant like flavors on this one is definitely like white grape character and like lemons. This green apple on the flavor, not really any like sour apple. Maybe a little bit, a hint of like, uh, uh, I think it's called crab apple, which is like small tart apples. My dad makes a uh, homemade kind of liquor thing with it <laughs> and it's pretty tasty. It has a similar type flavor, but it, yeah, almost like apple seeds. Really refreshing stuff, guys. Really nice booze. Uh, rain wise, I'm gonna go uh, 91. It's actually pretty nice. Looking forward to trying the other Hansen Lambics I have. And this one has carbonation compared to the uh, Obiche, the strawberry one, which didn't have any carbonation whatsoever. Kind of sucked, but still great stuff. 
Definitely guys, if you haven't had it, check out Hansen's Artisanal Eau de Guse. I think this is a shelf land in many places in the world, so definitely get this if you can. If you can't, hop on to Beardium.com and you can get it on there. So as always guys, definitely let me know what you think of this bad boy if you've had it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I want to say cheers and some delicious lambic and see you guys in another beer review.